On Dan Wooden's show tonight, Scott McLachlan and I were interviewed about the Lucy Letby case. A link to the full one-hour special on Dan Wooden's Outspoken channel is provided in the description below. My own concerns about the case are focused entirely on the statistical evidence and not on the clinical evidence. I've never explicitly commented on the guilty or innocent question, but I'm sure that the case should never have been triggered by the statistical evidence. In particular, the police chart shown in court showing Lucy as the nurse present at all the baby collapses was not the impossible to happen by coincidence scenario claimed. And I've previously done a video with Scott about this, which I also link to below. Here I want to focus on one short segment of the Dan Wooden show where I briefly describe the research Scott and I had done that challenges the widely accepted notion that there was a large spike in neonatal deaths during the period between 2015 and 2016 when Lucy worked at the Countess of Chester Hospital. At one point I said the year 2014 when I should have said 2016 so I want to correct that but it's also worth showing the details of the data I was referring to so I'll do that after this clip from the show. What's also important to note is there were a total of 15 deaths, which are neonatal deaths, mm -hmm. which occurred during the period that Lucy Letby was mm -hmm. working. Now, for a start, they talk about a peak, this strange peak, but it was not. We've done an extensive analysis. Scott found 14 comparator hospitals, i.e. hospitals which were delivering similar types of care and a similar number of births each year. And at the Countess of Chester, during the period when Lucy Letby was there, which was 2014 and 2015, there were nine neonatal deaths in 2015 and eight in 2014. Now, they say it was a spike because in the year after Lucy Letby left, there was only three, but that, there was an explanation for that because by then they downgraded the hospital, I believe it's from a level two to a level one, which means they were not taking these high-risk babies anymore. But if you compare it to these other hospitals, you find that, for example, Sherwood Forest Hospital, with a similar number of births, in 2014, there were 13 neonatal deaths. And you've got Kettering, which had, in the, in the four years from 2014 to 2017, had nine, seven, six, and seven neonatal deaths. So there's actually nothing unusual. And in fact, in a proper statistical analysis, we showed that the probability of observing nine neonatal deaths in a hospital like the Countess of Chester was about 34% in any given year. So it's just, you know, it's a one in three chance that you'd see that many deaths. Nothing unusual about that. Here are the neonatal death data I was referring to. You can see the Countess of Chester here with the so-called spike of nine and eight deaths in 2015 and 2016 when she was working there. In fact, the period she was there covered only 15 of these 17 deaths. You can see there were four in 2014 and only three in 2017, but that was because the unit was downgraded after Lucy left. But here are the data that Scott collected for the other 14 hospitals with maternity units most closely matching the size and demographics of the Countess of Chester. The blanks here are simply where the data weren't available. Now, you don't need great statistical skills to see that there's nothing that unusual about the Countess of Chester numbers in 2015 to 2016. I mean, we can see, for example, that Sherwood Forest in 2014 had 13 deaths from a similar number of births, while in all four years, Kettering had very similar numbers to the higher numbers at Countess of Chester. In fact, in 2015, when the Countess of Chester had the peak of nine deaths, Dorset Hospital actually had a higher rate of deaths per thousand births because it had seven from a smaller number of births in total. So how statistically unusual were the nine neonatal deaths from 3,047 births at the Countess of Chester in 2015? Well, based on Bayesian learning of the distribution for the rate of neonatal deaths from all of these similar hospitals, the expected number of deaths in any single year between that period 2014 and 17 has a median value of 6 with a mean 7.47 and the 95% confidence interval is between 0.6 and 22.4 and from that we infer that the probability of observing at least 9 deaths in any given year by chance alone is 34% not unusual at all and the probability of observing at least 8 is 40.4% the full details of this analysis can be found in this paper with the DOI shown here and link in the description below.